Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part four of the same topic. Now let us see from the innings fifteen point three. So it's given a perimeter of squares with sides are given below. So P stands for the perimeter and sides that is S. And you have to draw the graph for this data taking suitable scale on the axis. And this table is given. This uh, this is P stands for the perimeter is. Stands for the sides. So these are all the. This is perimeter, and this will be all sides. So we we will do one thing. We will put the perimeter. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. So this I will return here y, and this here x. So here we can put perimeter of square that is in centimeter, and on this side we will put your side that is in centimeter. So now what we can do here? We can take the scale. Scale is Now, what did I take the scale? This is x cent x axis. One unit is five centimeter, and y axis one unit is one centimeter. Can you see here? This zero starts from here. So from here, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. So this the distance between this this is five centimeter, and here you can see the distance from here to here that is one one centimeter. So this is the scale. So why did I take like this? Because now can you see a sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, and twenty-eight. So last is twenty-eight. So we can take it to thirty, and the first is this one. So it is better to take a five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's up to you. And this, the size is four, five, six, seven. So we can also start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But whatever you have to see that it should be at the equal distance. So now what we can do here? So now this is sixteen and four. So now we can see a 16 will be this in between 15 and 20. So in between 15 and 20, there are 10 divisions. Smaller divisions are 10. So one, uh, two smaller divisions is going to be one. So 16 is going to be after this two smaller divisions somewhere or here, and this is so you will go this way. So the point is going to be here. Now the next one is 20 and 5. So twenty and five. This is easy because we have already done here. So this point is going to be here, and you will put the circle in. Then the next division is twenty-four and six. So twenty-four and six. So this is twenty-five. So you will go backwards two small divisions, and twenty-four. This will be here, and that is going to be six. Twenty-eight and seven. Twenty-eight and seven. Again, what will you do here? We have twenty-five. So Six more smaller divisions because two smaller divisions will be one, one unit. So that that is going to be, uh, sorry, that is one one centimeter. So here will be twenty eight is going to be somewhere over here. So this will be twenty eight and this is seven. So twenty eight and seven. So this is the graph for it. So that's what they have asked. Just draw the graph for this one. So this is the graph. Now temperature T in a given centigrade of a metal ball in time T minutes is given in the following table, and you have to plot a line graph for the same. So this is the table given. So this is the these are the temperatures, and this the time in minutes. So now what we can do, we can draw here this x-axis. We can take the temperature in degree Celsius, and this is the time in that is in minutes. So we can write it on the Y axis. So now what we can do? We'll take the scale. We'll take x axis and x axis that is uh, one unit is uh, here. Can you see this is thirty, forty, fifty, sixty? So we can take ten degree Celsius. So at one unit will be ten degree Celsius. So we can take a ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. But because now this is zero, so it should be at the equal distance. Whatever the Scale is. Then we will see for the time two, four, six, eight. So we can write here one unit is two minutes. We can take. So here is already zero, two, four, six, eight, and ten. So now we will go for thirty and two. So thirty and two we have thirty here, and this is two. So the point is going to be here. Forty and four. So forty and four. So the point is going to be here. Fifty and six. So fifty and six, the point is going to be here, and then sixty and eight, sixty and this is eight, so the point is going to be here. So this is going to be a 
this is the line graph it's a straight line so we can say that is a that is a line graph for the same some p deposited in simple and cash earned for a year show the following relationship and this is the table given for some and this is for the interest this is the simple interest so we present the above data in the form of a graph using the graph answer the following question so now what you can see here uh, for 500 that is 40 for 1000 that is 90 1500 that is 135 and 2000 that is 180 so you can see a difference here of plus 45 here also is plus 45 here also is plus 45 here here what you can see after 2000 is 3000 here the difference is going to be 500 500 500 so wherever the difference is 500 the here it is going to be 45 but now here you can see the difference is 1000 so 1000 means equal to 45 plus 45 so this difference should be 90 and now again here the difference is 1000 so this should be again 90 but here it's not 90 so what we can do here we can do one thing over here we can take the this is 45 so scale we can take x axis that is one unit is or 500 we can take so here y axis that is one unit is rupees 45 so here this is the sum p in rupees and this is the simple interest in rupees so this is x and this is y so here one unit we can take because this 500 so what we can do 500 1000 1500 2000 2500 3000 3500 and this is 4000 so now you can see equal is 500 is the difference between all and here you can start with 45 90 135 so here you can see the difference is here 45 each so it starts from zero so now what you can do here 545 so 500 is here this is 45 so this point is going to be here 1090 so 1090 the point is going to be here then 1135 so 1135 the point is going to be here and here will be 2180 so 2180 the point should be here and the next is going to be 3270 so 3270 the point is going to be here and the next point is 4300 so 4300 300 will be somewhere over here because this two in between this 270 and 315 somewhere here so it is going to be here so now when you draw a bar a line so if from here till here it is going to be straight and here it's going to change so now what are you doing this is the graph using the graph answer the following question so this is the graph for that and we have to answer the question so they said what is the simple interest on depositing it is six thousand so now what you can see for 500 the this one whenever the principal is the simple interest is 45 so for 500 it is 45 so what we can do here simple interest formula you know that is p into r into t by 100 so principal into rate into time that divided by 100 so simple interest we know that is 45 is given so below this we write for 45 the principal this is whatever is that that is 500 we don't know what is the r that is the rate of interest and the time is one year one divided by 100 so these two zeros get cut so 45 is going to be and this divided by 5 this will go here means it is going to get divided so that is going to be r into 1 that is going to be r so this will be 5 ones are 5 nines are so r is going to be 9 plus so now what we can do they are asked for 6000 what will be the simple interest for 6000 simple interest will be again we'll use a formula so now we got the rate of interest so in place of p we are going to put 6000 here we'll put 9 and the time is one year divided by 100 so these two zeros get cut so this is going to be rupees 540 so for this they have said what is the simple interest on depositing this one so that is rupees 540 so now here they said what amount should be deposited to earn 450 rupees a simple interest so the this i means that is the simple interest that is 450 
we already got this r as 9% and the time is 1 year. So we'll put in this formula, SI is equal to P into R into T by 100. So in place of this uh, simple interest, we can put the interest 250. So we don't know what is the, because the amount means that, that is P, we don't know what is that. So the rate of interest is 9, this term is 1 divided by 100. So if we take this, when you uh, for this one, to take it on this side, so that is going to be, that will go in the numerator. And this 9 into 1, that will be 9, that will go in the, this will come here, that will go in the denominator. So this is that step, is equal to P as it is. So 9 ones are, 9 fifties are, so this is going to be 5,000 is P. So to earn rupees 50, what is this? They are all the amount, that is that, that is P. So rupees 5,000 should be deposited. A person hired a taxi for 6 hours. Plot the speed distance graph for the following data and answer the questions given below using the graph. So this is the table given. So in that one they have asked, that is the speed distance graph. So this is the speed in kilometer per hour, speed will be in kilometer and this is the distance in kilometer. And now what we can do here from this table, we can first decide the scale. So the scale will be x-axis, that is one unit I have taken as 10 kilometer per hour and y-axis that one unit will be 40 kilometer per hour whatever the distance you take that should be the difference should be the same so now here 10 20 30 40 50 60 0 is here so you can see everywhere there is a difference of 10 so now we can take here because now this is 120 150 one this one so we can also take here and the this one multiples of 40 so 40 80 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, and 320, the difference of 40. So now again here you can see 20, this is 20 and 120. So this is 20 and 120. So the point is going to be here. 25 and 150. So 25 means in between this and this. And 150 will be somewhere here. So you can see in between somewhere in here. 120 and 160. Then 30 and 180. So 30 and 180, 180 also will be somewhere over here and then 40 and 240 so 40 and this 240 will be here and 50 and 300 so 50 and this 300 is going to be in between 280 and 320 so this is the graph given and now you will answer the questions here find the distance covered if he is traveling at a speed of 45 km per hour so, so for 20 km per hour so what is that? Distance is 120 kilometer. So this distance is 120 kilometer. So for first we'll see for one kilometer, how much is the distance? So what will you do? You are going to cross multiply. So one into 120. So that will be in the numerator. And this 20 will go in the denominator. So that is six kilometer. So for one kilometer, that is six kilometer. So we can say we want for 45 kilometer per hour. So that will be 45 into six. So that will be 270 kilometer. So you can have a look at it. Find the speed of the taxi if it travels a distance of 450 km. So for 270 km, here it's the one. It's given here 270 km. That is 45 km per hour. So for 450 km, that will be how much? So you will cross here. So again, what will happen? 45 into 450 into 45. Of anyways, 45 into 450, you can write divided by this 270. So, you, when you simplify this one, 9 3s are 9 5s are 3 1s are 3 15 are. So, anyways, you can simplify that is going to be 75 kilometer per hour. So, we can write here, therefore, what they have asked speed of 45 kilometer per hour. So, find the distance covered if he's traveling at a speed of 45 kilometer per hour. So the distance we can write is this here. Uh, sorry, they have asked here. This we are doing for B1. So find the speed of the taxi if it tra travels like in this one. So we can write speed of taxi is 75 kilometer per hour. So now we'll go for the next one. A man is riding a bike at, at a uniform speed of 60 km per hour. Not a distance time graph to show the relationship between distance and time. And then there was, is it a linear graph? You know the linear means what? It should be a straight line. 
So this is called a linear curve. It can be anyways. So that is a linear curve. So speed is given as 60 km per hour. So speed is distance by time. So what we can do here? Speed into distance, that is, uh, sorry, speed into time, that is going to be distance. So now what we can do? We have to calculate the distance from different time intervals. Like for, because this is per hour. 60 km per hour to means one, one hour, that is 60 km. So now let us take some of this one. Uh, we can connect the distance for the different time intervals. For one kilo, that is the one hour, that is 60 km. So what we can do for two hours, it is going to be double of it. That will be 120. Three hours, that is going to be 180. Four hours, it is going to be 240. Five hours, that is going to be 300. So because we want to draw a graph, so we need the different points. So we can write a scale over here. So that is x x x is one unit is one hour. So y x is one unit is going to be sixty kilometers. So we can put here one two three four five. That will be one hour for time here, and here is the distance. So here we can take a difference of sixty. So now again, we have what we can see here according to the table, one is sixty. So one is sixty. We can plot here. 2 is 120, 3 is 180, 4 is 240, and 5 is 300. So according to this, these are the points. 2 is 120, then 3 is 180, 4 is 240, and 5 is 300. That is given in the table. So now what you can see when we join this one all, we can see that is a straight line. So we can say there was, is it a linear graph? So we can say yes, it is a linear graph. By this one, we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.